Hi everyone, Katie here. Welcome back to another layout video. Today I have another picture from my trip to Peru. This is just um, one night we were out um, walking along uh, one of the little walking streets with all the shops and restaurants and um, this is kind of just a shot down the street um, and it's not like a glamorous picture by any means but um, the trip holds a lot of memories and even just doing um, something, you know, simple like walking down the street. Um, you know, I've got something to say about it, so I'm keeping it. So as you can see, I went ahead and did um, some inking through a stencil onto my paper. Now, I used Clipped Sapphire Distress Oxide, um, which is almost the same color as my background. Um, and I actually really like how it turns out because it's such a subtle bit of, uh, you know, mixed media in the background. Um, and then over top of all of that, I'm using my Bow Bunny Glitter Glaze in Copper um, through another stencil that has little, like, polka dots um, on it. So I really like how this turns out. I think it's almost, it's, it's just very, you know, sparkly, but, you know, night sky kind of thing. And it's like a nighttime picture. Um, even though it's pink sparkles that I'm putting down here, um, I don't know, I still really like how it turns out. Um, and my stencil is really tiny. This is actually one that I made. Um, so if you have a die cut machine, um, I have a Cricut and, um, I also have a personal laminator, um, that I use for school a lot of times, but if you take any of those laminating pouches, um, and then just like run it through without paper, then you can cut a stencil. It's a very thin stencil, but obviously it works. Um, you can cut a thin stencil with your Cricut or Silhouette or whatever it is you have. Um, and I have made a lot of stencils this way and saved a lot of money this way too. Um, so this is technically, the stencil is supposed to be a card front. Um, but again, I really like how it turns out and I use it a lot as a stencil. So would highly recommend if you're interested in that. So now I have to, I've let my background dry, I have my splatters, my um, glitter paste, and my um, ink, and next I take a little bit of tissue paper. I decide I'm going to map my photo on this tissue. Um, it's not, you know, acid free or anything like that, so I know I'm, I'm going to pay for it someday, but right now I like it. Um, and I'm just using a little bit of adhesive to stick my photo down. I just really like the texture that it gives, um, and especially since this is a one photo layout, I think it just, you know, brings your eye into the photo and um, just gives it a little something more, maybe that you couldn't necessarily use um, with a layout with a lot of photos, and I've been doing a lot of photos on my layouts recently. Um, so I think... The next step is to get out my um, Project Life cards. Now, I only have like one pack of these Project Life cards, but they're all uh, very sparkly. And I'm just kind of feeling the sparkle for this layout. Now, the reason I choose to put my little card on the right side is because I actually have a gap in my mixed media, just a little bit. Um, but I put the card right over top of it and it works perfectly. Um, so I pull out a few of my other sparkly um, stickers and embellishments just to kind of see what might work because clearly that's my theme. Now I have these, um, they're almost like little flowers I guess, sparkly flowers. They're Martha Stewart. Um, I think they're a, a little bit old um, because they don't stick very well but that works out really well for me right now as I'm just trying to arrange things and see how I want them to go on my um, layout. So I really like the effect of these um, little flowery things. I think they really define my diagonal pattern and um, I think they just look nice and I also really like that I get to use up um, the rest of the package which is always a good feeling. So use my stuff, make things look pretty, and then also have the opportunity to buy more, as I know we all really like to do. Um, so I'm just using a little bit of adhesive. I'm using a craft foam to pop up my fo uh, photo, and then I'm also using just little foam uh, squares as well to make sure that 
uh, there's a little support even behind the stickers and everything. So excuse my head there. I'm trying to line everything up um, and put it down as I want it to go. Um, now I made sure that I got my journaling box in before I put anything else down because um, I knew that it would not fit if I did not do that or I'd have to cut it or something, which I probably should have done, you know, then I could save another piece of a journaling box or something, but, you know, I have a ton of stuff and that doesn't bother me to have put a little more paper underneath um, my photo. So I am using a very, very small um, fine point pen to write. I'm just writing a little bit about, um, you know, nights in Puno. It was cool to say the least, um, but we really enjoyed walking up and down the street, you know, looking at the little shops and um, all the different vendors and things like that. Um, there was a curfew uh, because of COVID-19, but um, it worked out really well because we were tired. <laughs> so that was okay with us. Um, now, the title really stumped me. That's what I'm working on right now. I'm trying to find, you know, I didn't know even exactly what I wanted it to say. Um, but I wasn't loving any of the, you know, pre-made kind of thickers titles that I had. Um, so I go back through my cards. I find one that says Happily Ever After. Um, that is certainly not something that I would necessarily think applies to this at all. That sounds like, you know, a wedding or something. But I, the way I was thinking of it is, you know, this was like our last night in Puno and we really enjoyed our time there. Um, so it's kind of like the closing of this chapter of our trip. And if, you know, if you think that's silly or that doesn't make sense to you, you know what, that's totally fine. Um, but it made sense to me and I also got to use, um, one of those pocket cards. So I'm happy to use my things and, like I said, it made sense to me. Now, I did uh, cut it out and I'm inking up the edges just to kind of bring it be able to be a little more cohesive with the layout and not quite so white. Um, so I like where I put it. I'm going to pop it up on foam again using my craft foam and my double-sided tape, um, which works really well. Again, it's just my Dollar Tree double-sided tape that I love so much. Um, and I'm using a few more little foam squares just to pop up the little edges as well. Um, and as I'm doing this, I'm thinking, okay, I really like what I've got so far, but I need I need a little more. Happily ever after, I need to explain. So I kind of add a subtitle um, in my own handwriting, which was a little nerve-wracking, but I write in last night in, and then I grab these... They're um, just small alphabet stickers from Making Memories, and they're very sparkly, and they've got little jewels on them, and I thought I would never find a use for them, um, ever. But I think they work out here. Now, they are hard to see in the video, but I'm just spelling out Puno, so it says, Happily Ever Ever After, Last Night in Puno. Um, and, and I think it works, and I'm glad to use... Um, that supply that I didn't really think I would have much of a use for. So, win-win. Um, and I add just a few more little stickers, again, emphasizing that diagonal line of embellishment. Um, and even a few little jewels to finish it off. I thought about adding, you know, like a border around it, but I kind of kind of like how the layout just kind of um, is open like that. So after I put on... Um, my few little jewels here, um, I go over my writing with my sparkly pen, um, just to finish up my layout. So, thanks so much for watching. Bye.